you, you should be probably one of the most passionate people about the built environment. You should be passionate about it performing to its design function and more and always be, always be looking to how it can be improved. But looking to the business, how can you add value to the business? How can you deliver something extra to that business? Because then you are a strategic part of the business. If the business is always complaining about you because you're the thing that gets in the way, then you're never going to be seen as strategic. You're always going to be seen as something that comes off the bottom line and is an unnecessary evil. As you should be something there to delight everybody and, and take it forward. The BBC was founded in 1922 and has delivered television and radio broadcasts since that time from iconic premises, mainly based in London. Funded by the British viewing public, it has a duty to respond to the needs and wants of its audiences. And in 2004, following detailed consultation with and feedback from its audiences, the decision was made to relocate critical services from London to the North West in a bid to more fully reflect the cultural diversity of its viewers and to engage the public. The end result is the 200-acre Media City UK based in Salford Quays, a regenerated and now highly developed area of Manchester. The site now houses BBC Sport, Children's TV, Breakfast News and some of the BBC's radio channels and is home to 1,800 employees relocated from London, plus a further 700 from various offices around Manchester and the surrounding area. We spoke to Alan Bainbridge, Property Director at the BBC, about the move and how important FM is to the creativity and commercial success of the corporation. Obviously people are nervous when they move to a new place. Um, they've done a lot of things to move house, apartment jobs and all those sorts of things. So as an FM, making the building come alive and support them and make their job easy and, and add to it and make it easy to make programs, easy to get guests into the building, good catering, cycling, car parking, all those things that FM cover, it's secure and a good place to work. It's been a very proud moment. You should have your vision of how you want it to be and how it's going to look and feel and continue to perform. So to deliver that vision, that's the first challenge. Um, once it does start to deliver, um, I think particularly when you do a project such as Media City and you live and breathe it, you then need to let go and let it stand on its own two feet because it then has to develop, it has to move and flex with the occupier and how their business develops. So if it's, if it's set up properly, it'll do that. Um, and, and a little bit like a parent, you have to let, let it make its own mistakes and go forward. But um, it, it's a natural progression. But the hard work's done before before it kicks off and if that's done properly then it will then it'll be successful. I think the reason why I was successful in Salford is all through the interior design we were very mindful as to what the building might do both on day one and in two, three, ten years time and the FM service was part of the design process and then we designed the FM service to support that as well. So our aims to be here, to be open, accessible to audiences, the public, was running through everything that we did so that everywhere is supported and everywhere is, you know, it's all a shared uh, facility. And, and I think if, you're, if your vision and brief has the honesty and the uh, depth that it should have, then it will get a good FM service. I think when you bolt the FM on at the last minute, poorly briefed or poorly sourced, then you're not getting the best out of, out of something that can add great value. FM is clearly becoming a more recognised profession, with a more strategic role to play in business and workforce strategy. And when you can visibly see the difference and impact good FM has had on a workplace, and the creativity and productivity of its workforce, this is when FM's value is truly realised. 
a lot of people don't understand what it is. So I think there's a communications exercise to explain to people what FM is and what broad range FM can be, different organisations, different locations. Um, I think to just have it all under one heading doesn't necessarily give a true explanation as to what it could be. So there's almost something for everybody. It's a service that touches just about every part of the business and, and it's great to see how you can influence that.